I'm going to share something a little personal about uh, the chairman of House Ed Committee. We uh, grew up in the same neighborhood in the Wells Park area and uh, went to some of the same schools and the same church and so on. And what's interesting is that some of those classrooms look the same today as they did <laughs> when we were in school in the 19... Shall I tell them? Okay, we won't tell them. A long time ago. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and, you know, but what I can tell you is that it's really been an honor to be able to work with uh, Chairman Mira. He supports education, early childhood, the rigorous, cur curric rigorous curriculum, 21st century classrooms, and he asks the tough questions. You know, he doesn't let us just bring a presentation to him and say, this is a great idea, can we do it, slam dunk, pass it on. He asks the tough questions. And uh, I hope that today you will be happy with the decision that, you know, you made as chairman to support Ideal New Mexico when you can see it actually in action and how, as Dr. Dassenbrock men mentioned, it truly, I don't think we've really grasped how much it is going to change the landscape of education in New Mexico. You know, one of the highest leverage points that we can make is to educate our adults. If we can educate the adults, we're gonna make a tremendous difference in the educational achievement of our kids. Think of what ideal New Mexico can be for adult basic ed and for GED and for associate's degrees for many working citizens in New Mexico. So thank you for your belief in us, Mr. Chairman. I give you uh, Representative Mayor. Thank you, Madam Secretary. I didn't know I was going to be uh, following such a talented uh, comedian, and uh, but uh, <laughs> he's good. He's very good, and what he says is is right on the button. Uh, you know, in the spirit of the Olympics, uh, it's uh, nice to know that uh, today we're not celebrating the the bronze or the silver, but uh, we're actually uh, we're going for the gold. We're number one, and isn't that? really nice to hear in New Mexico yeah. that uh, we're number one. Yeah. The rest of the nation uh, is going to be trying to keep up with where we're already at and uh, that's really nice to know so we can only move forward. Uh, with that, you know, I'm of course delighted and thank you for having us, Bernalillo. I really appreciate that. Uh, as I was speaking with someone earlier, I'm, uh, I come not too far north from here. I know I was born in, in Aluquerque, but uh, I'm really from Algodones and uh, uh, Bernalillo is uh, very important to me, and uh, I'm glad that uh, you're able to share your space with us here this morning. Um, you know, it's no exaggeration to say that uh, this event marks the launch of New Mexico's s school system in the 21st century, and uh, not a moment too soon. We've raced to propel our schools and colleges into cyberspace because to do so is the challenge of our age. We have no choice. If we hope to keep the pace with global growth, and offer a better quality of life for every citizen. To make distance learning available statewide in 2007, the LESC endorsed, and I was very proud to sponsor, this legislation that created the Statewide Cyber Academy. And since then, the legislature has appropriated over $9 million to the Higher Education Department and the Public Education Department to implement the Cyber Academy and Ideal New Mexico. Just last week at the LESC meeting, we heard a presentation about how HED and PED have implemented Ideal New Mexico. The committee was pleased to hear about the progress the departments have made and the progress that brings us here on this occasion today. The legislature put the development of Ideal New Mexico on a fast track in order to address some of the needs of our public schools that couldn't be ignored such as ensuring that our students have a computer literacy skills to participate in an increasingly <laughs> global economy, deliver us rigorous coursework, including honors and advanced placement to students in every corner of the state so they can be prepared to excel in college and their careers, enabling small rural districts to achieve economies of scale in high needs areas such as science, math, foreign languages, by sharing teachers, making dual credit programs in academic and career technical areas available to our public school students, particularly those located in far campuses from where those courses originate, developing coursework to meet the specific needs of our state, 
such as New Mexico history, providing a convenient and low-cost way to deliver teacher professional development that will improve student achievement in every New Mexico school, and establishing a statewide higher education online e-learning clearinghouse and eventually an efficient, cost-effective platform for distance delivery of staff training for state agencies as well. Ideal New Mexico didn't come to fruition overnight, but it did happen fast. No doubt there will be some fine-tuning as the project becomes operational this fall, starting this morning. However, our students are ready to take advantage of these new technologies, and it's our responsibility to satisfy their appetite for better ways to learn so that in a very short time, distance delivered courses can be a core component of every student's education. I want to thank you here today who have worked so tirelessly to see this project come from, vi from vision to reality. And I congratulate all of you, everyone sitting here today, on all your accomplishments. And I look forward to working with you in the future as this project expands and expands. Thank you.